All right, so we have a different problem here today, which is going to be talking about a useless state in a machine is one that if you remove the state, the language doesn't change. So we're going to define the language useless for DFAs to be the set of all strings that encode a DFA and a state of that DFA and such that Q is a useless state of that machine. And we want to define, or at least answer, is useless DFA decidable? So recall that a decidable language is that there is an algorithm for it that always halts. So how can we think about this? Well, let's just say that there is a useless state in this machine. So let's say here's a DFA, and we have some number of transitions maybe coming into it, and we have a useless state here, and it has some outgoing transitions. So we want to figure out whether this state is a useless one. So how can we actually do that? Well, what we can think about is, well, if there is some way that can go from the start state, go through this so-called useless state, and then eventually go to a final state, well, then this state is not useless. So that indicates to us that if I try to delete this state, the language doesn't change. And one result that you should recall is that EQ DFA is decidable. It's a decidable language. So remember, EQ DFA is, we're going to give it two DFAs, and we want to, and it will tell us whether or not they have the same language. So, so answers whether whether l of m1 equals l of m2. So how can we use this here? So let's build the decider for useless DFA based on the decider for EQ DFA. So I'm going to call the decider D. So on input m and q because we're trying to answer the question for useless DFA. So we have to present this machine and the state itself. So on input MQ, and we want to answer yes or no, whether or not Q is a useless state. So note that M is a DFA. So if I delete this state Q right here, it might be possible that the machine is no longer a DFA. But if I delete a state, I guarantee to still have an NFA. So we're going to create an NFA called N from this DFA M by deleting state Q. That's not capital Q, it's lowercase Q. Then, well, if we want to answer whether or not this NFA N and M have the same language, well, we have EQ DFA here, but it requires two DFAs. Well, I have a DFA, which is the M thing right here, and well, I have an NFA, but we know how to convert an NFA to a DFA. So convert N into an equivalent DFA, let's call it M2. So then ask the decider for EQ DFA on input M, which is the original DFA, and the one we just made, which is as a result of deleting the state and then converting it back into a DFA. So if Yes, so if the decider says, yeah, they have the same language, well, that means that we were able to delete a state from the machine and we never changed the language, which means by our definition that the state is in fact useless. So we should say accept here. So remember, we always have to say accept or reject. And then otherwise, of course, that means that the language did change which means that we should not accept because it's not a, it's not a useless state anymore. 
so therefore we should reject. And that is a decider because what we got to check is every step done in a finite amount of time. Well, this one is because we can just go through the description of the machine and then just eliminate every, every occurrence of state Q. That's pretty easy. Step two, well, there's an algorithm for converting an NFA into a DFA, which we've had videos on before. I assume that EQ DFA is decidable, and it is, and I will be covering it in the future video. So based on the assumption that it is decidable, uh, therefore, well, the fourth step is definitely decidable because it's just one step. So therefore, we say that D is a decider for this language, useless DFA, and so therefore, useless DFA is decidable.